In a competition, we're always trying to save as much time as possible. So when you flick through all the drawings, you can see that the cylinder vert and the cylinder horizontal are both very similar. So what we're actually going to do is to save us the time of remodeling um, the main part of the cylinder, which you can see here is already done in the cylinder vert. We're going to save as and then save a copy. So if we go up into the application menu, we've got all the options which are pretty stock between most applications. So if we go into save as, you get all of these options here. And we're going to do a save as. And of course it goes into our world skills regional example folder because that's where we set up our project when we started this. And I'm going to change that to cylinder horizontal. And if I hit save, that will do a save as, which is the same as a Microsoft Word save as. You can see up here it's now changed to cylinder horizontal. So we're now working in our cylinder horizontal.ipt. However, because we did a save as, it's kept everything from before. So if we go into the I properties and go into the summary, we can see it still says cylinder vert. So we just need to change the title to say cylinder horizontal and the part number is also updated there because that's taken straight from the, um, the file name. And this is all still current except for this bit here it needs to change to horizontal and we're going to hit apply to that and we know that it's the same physical properties so we've already got a pretty good base of a model there if we go back into the PDF we can see here that the full length of this is 18 plus 12 the beauty of Inventor is everything is editable at all times so if we can either double click on extrusion 1 or right click and edit feature and that will bring us back into the feature box here. So remember it was 18 plus 12, so that's 30. But again, if that was a harder sum, Inventor can do the maths for you. So we can do 18 plus 12, and it will change that. And we've got all the same options as before, so it's symmetric, so we keep the centre of gravity in the middle. So I'm going to change that, and we now have... We now have our completed cylinder, and it's kept all the holes. And because we did them through all, you can see, even though the length has changed all of those holes still go through all. You may notice that the other difference is we actually have a diameter up here of 30 millimeters which gives us this cutaway here. So we're going to add in that 30 mil on the top face. So I'm going to just rotate using F4 and I'm going to put a sketch on this top face here. And of course I'm going to draw a circle around the center point here so you can see it's gone green which means it will snap and they're going to pull it out there just to be dramatic so you can see what we're doing and you could have typed the dimension as you were doing the circle at 30 millimeters but of course you can always dimension afterwards D is the hotkey and then you can see here we can change that to 30 millimeters and we're now fully constrained if we hit E for extrude if you remember earlier I said when there's one profile in the sketch geometry Inventor picks it up automatically whereas here we've got quite a few profiles that we could choose so it hasn't selected them and we now have to manually select this profile just here and you can see the distance is defaulted to 10 millimeters. We know that, that has to be 12 millimeters. So if we go into either box here, or of course we could have done it over here, 12 mil, but we can see it's going the wrong way. So of course we just need to flip the direction. So we can change the direction too. And you can of course use this box over here. Hit yeah, OK. Competitions, you must check every single last detail because you will be marked on it. So we can see here that it's not actually a 28 mil diameter for the smaller diameter just here. It's actually 28.5. Now if you remember we actually did that in our sketch. Of course like I said Inventor is excellent. You can go back in, double click the sketch. You can double click the dimension, change it to 28.5 and because we have done all of our sketch geometry is fully constrained and we've done all of our features as parametric. If I hit finish sketch everything updates and everything stays exactly the same. You can now see we have our completed horizontal cylinder and I hope the quickness of that video shows you how quick Inventor is when you can just edit parts you know save as edit part rather than starting from scratch every time Windows Explorer you should be able to see we now have cylinder horizontal and cylinder vert and that's that's two parts made